Hi everyone, this is a pick a card reading for the next seven days. So here we are, by the way, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you choose to view the readings, it will be for you around that time, uh, around this time, you know. Um, also, just wanted to mention as well, yes, we have got these three beautiful, beautiful groups, and they've got some absolutely stunning tassels. So we've got group number one here with this tassel, we've got group number two here with this tassel, We've got group three with this more golden tassel. So this one's a little bit more golden. The other one is a bit more like an antique gold and they are handmade by me. So um, I actually have an intention store on Etsy and I hand make items which have spiritual energies to help you manifest your intentions. And on there, there are bracelets and necklaces and anklets, pom-poms, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow and your wallet or your purse and they are hand embroidered. And of course the tassels as well. So definitely do check out my Etsy store um, if you would like to purchase any of these tassels because they are on there, a very, very limited quality quantities because it does take time to make these um, because as you can see they are completely hand beaded and uh, they've got these beautiful pearls you can hang these up keep them around you um, to manifest your intentions um, so yes they are on Etsy and uh, there's also face masks crystals divination coins pendulums charms letters bowls etc so link will be in the description box below and also in the description box below are the timestamps for each of these group readings as well so you can definitely check those out and uh yeah, we we'll start with a reading, right? So um, also there as well, there's information on private paid readings, which are done within 24 to 48 hours and the free reading giveaway. So definitely check out both of those options as well. Everything is there and uh, you can definitely, you can definitely check it out. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start first of all with group number one with this particular crystal, it's so pretty. Okay, so let me move everything else out of the way and then we'll get started. All right, group number one, next seven days. Let's have a look and see what is coming through. So we've got this absolutely stunning tassel. This is handmade by me. So as I mentioned at the very beginning, if anyone is interested in it, definitely do check out the description box below where there's a link to my Etsy store where you can purchase these tassels and there's loads of colorful ones on there as well. All right, so we're just gonna put that, I should have thought of like a place to like put it so it could like hang up, but it's okay. Let's just, put it like that. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look and see what the next seven days is bringing you. By the way, this deck is absolutely stunning. You'll see why in a minute. It is the um, Tarot Black and Gold Edition. It is a gold card, gold cards. So let's have a look. And we're also going to do a charm reading. We're going to get Oracle cards out and see what is happening here. All right, so we have got the Three of Wands, the Ace of Cups, just look at these cards, they're so beautiful, Ace of Cups, and the message actually, very beautiful there as well, you've got Temperance, you've got the Ten of Cups, oh my goodness, wow, beautiful messages, beautiful messages over the next seven days. Doing uh, eight cards, by the way. Okay, one more, because I have the others come out. Okay, wow, okay, so here's one. King of Pentacles, here's another one, Page of Wands. We have the Empress and the King of Cups here as well. There you go, you can see them now. Okay, whoa, <laughs> wow, so, to me, the next seven days is just very, very prosperous. I think that the next seven days here brings you a lot of happiness. I believe that the next seven days is going to bring you this, this sense of, you know what, I can do anything I set my mind to. I can do the things that I really want to progress towards. I can move towards the things that I enjoy. There's just this sense of enjoyment, fulfillment, um, 
productivity that I pick up here. The Three of Wands here is about patience, and again, repeats with temperance, which is about patience being the virtue, like patience is the virtue. And um, temperance here shows a lot of peace, right? Inner peace, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, a lot of peace. For some of you as well, definitely financial peace too with that King of Pentacles. So there's a real sense of peace overall that's surrounding you, especially with the Ten of Cups. It's like everything sort of slowly but surely coming together right? And even the Empress here is about finding peace in the very, very little things, like things about yourself, how you feel within yourself, how other people are seeing you, how people are communicating with you. There really seems to be also a really spectacular offer here. Now, I'm reading for a lot of people, right? So for some of you, it's going to be a love offer. For some of you, it is going to be a career offer or something to do with education, because some of you might be in education, obviously. So there seems to be a really lovely offer here, which sort of just solidifies things a little bit more for you and just makes you feel so much more enthusiastic with that page of wands, the king of cups here, also showing emotionally, feeling very fulfilled, feeling very excited, but also just like feeling like, wow, you know, this is really nice. There's a sense of gratitude here with the Empress combined with the King of Cups and also with the Ten of Cups too. It's it's just that sense of like, wow, like things are coming together. I don't know how much more I could, you know, say the same thing over and over again, but I really feel that, especially with the King of Pentacles, you know, stability in the home sense, stability I feel financially, but also emotionally with the Ace of Cups. It's so beautiful to see. It's so beautiful to see. It's so nice. I have to say, I also feel that some of you might discover a hobby here as well that you really, like something you really enjoy doing that maybe you just never took on board before. So that's something that's also coming through as well. What a, what a bunch of messages. Wow. You know, what a reading would I say? So I feel like I explained that in the best way possible. So what I'm going to now do is I am going to pull some other cards. All right. Yeah, I just don't want to like go in circles and like repeat the same thing over and over again. So that's why like, okay, let's let's go to the next cards. So I'm going to use the Life Coach Oracle deck. Let's see what message we have here. All right, let's get, it says boundaries. So let's see what we have here with the Nature's Whisperers. I think that's what it's called. I have so many decks. I have over 100 decks now. So trying to remember all of the names because there are this, um, this, they, they actually make another deck which is also very similar in its name, so trying to remember which one is which can sometimes be a bit complicated for me. Even though I have good memory, there's just so many that it's, uh, you know, it's a lot. <laughs> oh wow, oh, that like literally flew out. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. This makes so much sense. So um, this one here says boundaries, right? Um, you are learning the gentle art of setting boundaries and saying no. There you go. Like this is about you standing up for yourself and doing what you truly want to do. You're not getting swayed by other people's opinions and you're certainly not... Um, living your life for others, let's say. So boundaries is also about what you accept and what you deserve and um, essentially just knowing and being more at peace with yourself that, you know what, even if things don't work out the way you wanted to, remember that, especially in relationships and career, it sort of takes two sides to make things work. Even in a career as well, like your career has to be supportive of you and want you to be in that field of things, um, unless you're working for yourself or you have a business, but sometimes, you know, the energies can be a little bit all over the place. So, you know, if, especially if you're thinking about past failures or things that are not doing so well, it is also about just knowing that anything that's meant for you is never going to pass you by, but to always hold on to your boundaries and to not just, um, let people like walk all over them because that can affect you in so many other ways and it can definitely be um, like a regret. So here you are um, learning the gentle art of setting boundaries, right? And saying no. So here you are being very comfortable with yourself throughout the course of the next seven days and uh, quite frankly, asserting your boundaries. Then we also have here as well, trust your own understanding, which I think is so, so important, right? Trust yourself in the decisions that you make, in the things that you say no to, in the ways that you feel, listening to your gut, and your intuition, which I think is really important with this King of Cups that's come out here as well. Like, make sure you're listening to yourself because I think that that just is making you feel much, much stronger within yourself as well. I know that sounds like a bit, a bit, a bit of a bizarre thing to say, but I think sometimes when you're always trusting like other people's judgments and understandings, like you may end up kind of living life 
in their way, but over the next seven days, things are changing, it's going in your direction, which can also then lead to other people and the right people sticking around, the right people respecting you and respecting your boundaries, and those people that are not good for you, you know, it's okay if they disappear, it's okay if they're no longer around, that is okay, <laughs> okay, that's just what I see, it's, it's such a, it's like a, I wouldn't say it's a silver lining, it's like a golden lining, it's, it's just so beautiful, you know? Like, yes, it hurts, but also at the same time, you know, especially if it's like people you don't really want to disappear, but you have to also consider yourself in the mix of things, how important you are as well in the grand scheme of things. Because people are always putting themselves first, okay? But if you're not putting yourself first, then, you know, it's, it's one of those things like, you know, come on, you got this, you know? There's a card that's like flipped over in here. So this is the food fortunes. Now, this can resonate with some of you. I know some of you said like, oh my God, the food cards are so, so accurate. Um, sorry, I'm stuck. There it is. Um, but this could be like foods that you are really just very um, much craving. They could be foods that you do eat over the course of the next seven days or that you, you know, you have on your wish list to eat. <laughs> I don't think anyone really makes a wish list, let's say. But, uh, but then, you know you may or may not eat. <laughs> so you've got here um, the trio, uh, so you've got a sandwich here, and uh, yeah, it's a very specific kind of sandwich, obviously, you know, it's known as like a BLT, but to be honest, um, overall, I'm seeing a sandwich because everyone has their own preferences when it comes to food and different, like, um, dietary requirements, you know, some people are um, meat eaters, some people are vegetarian, some people are vegan, some people are pescatarian, some people do keto, some people don't do keto, some people do paleo, some people do, you know, low carb, Oh gosh, you know, everyone does their eating in a different way. Some people just eat whatever they want, you know, um, <laughs> it's one of those things. Some people are more healthy, some people, you know, just only want junk food, some people do both of them, you know, so um, <laughs> I'm just seeing mainly here sandwiches, okay? I'm seeing a sandwich. We've got here the sparkler, so like sparkling water or some kind of carb carbonated beverage, and you've also got the orange one, which is a curry as well. All right, so those are your food cards that we have. Now, let's go ahead to your charm reading. I'm so excited about this because I got some new crystal charms. I'm so excited about them, as you can tell. <laughs> okay, so we are going to look into letters, crystals, and the charms. So let me just put my charm tray down. So, of course, the this could be initials, this could be spelling out words for the next seven days. Uh, did something come out? I swear something fell out, or did it fall in here? I'm not sure. Okay. We've got a lot. We've got a lot of letters here. So, P, X, A, Z, D, M, DM. Ooh, maybe you're getting a message through your DMs. N. Aren't DMs also shoes? Is it Doc Martens? I'm not sponsored by them. Just saying. It just they they come through. Um, <laughs> I'm just thinking of DMs. Okay, A R L G B G B Great Britain. Also, you know, some of these could be also states as well, like AZ could be, is it AZ? Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? Arizona. Um, R, G, A, rag? Bag. Hmm. There's a lot of words I think that could be made out here for sure. And an S. Sag. Okay. That's what we have. That's what we have. Okay, got that in there as well. Sand. Ooh, sand. Okay, just gonna let it be like this. All right, so that is what we have there. Let's go to the crystal charms. But let me know, you know, if there are certain words that really resonate with you, just uh, let me know in the comment section if you want to, you know, if you're comfortable doing so. If you're not comfortable sharing anything, then by all means don't, but, uh, okay. Let's see, I'm going to grab two of these. Okay. Wow, 
wealth, which to be honest, I did mention here, right? Oh, and kindness. Okay, nice. So um, King of Pentacles here shows a lot of stability in the aspect of wealth. I did mention as well financially things here could be coming together for you, especially in the home sense, in the career sense, education sense, um, wealth here. Remember wealth is not just money as well. Wealth is also um, like emotional peace, mental happiness, uh, feeling good within yourself. That can also be seen as wealth and also health, You right? Health is wealth. So and something that is coming through as well but it's, it's wealth I think all around because of that ten of cups as well and then you've got kindness so people can be so much more prone to be kinding, uh, kind towards you but also you're so much more prone in the next seven days to be gentle and kind with yourself especially with your boundaries especially with the things that you do the people that you surround yourself with um, you're definitely being very very kind to yourself alright so now we go to the charms which I have no idea where I'm actually going to put them because I just spread everything out but that's okay let's see I claim this little corner. Okay, so we've got here the Virgo charm, which, you know, this Virgo charm reminds me a hell of a lot of the Temperance card, even though Temperance is Sagittarius and this is Virgo. Um, I just feel, because this charm actually is like um, the archer, you know, because that would be the Sagittarius. So this is actually not the Sagittarius charm. The Virgo energy is about taking care of yourself. It's about putting yourself first. It can feel like it's very isolating, but the beauty of it is that it's also a sense of protection towards yourself. And I really do feel like that's one of the biggest messages here for you, group one. All right. So you've got that energy actually. Let's, let's just show you as well. It makes a lot of sense, right? There's a sense of peace and a sense of prosperity. Um, there you go. You see that? A really strong resemblance that this um, charm isn't holding two cups though so I thought I'd just show you that as well um, that's what we have there then you also have the rose quartz crystal star which is showing healing um, and having faith in the path ahead which of course is quite significant and and very important you know so moving along and having faith within yourself having faith in the way that things go uh things how they turn out etc um obviously that's a really important message overall then you've also got the root chakra crystals so this is about focusing on stability and security um because some of you may feel like you're kind of like in quicksand where you just feel like oh my god i might be sinking like i don't know what's happening i you know don't feel good etc so you may feel like that kind of energy is really getting to you and also sand is stubborn like when it gets into you know onto your feet or into any like other area it's really hard you know to like it's just so it's not comfortable right so it's interesting that I see sand and also when you have those like timers you know which I can see in my charm box I can literally see it um and obviously you know I don't really like pick charms out randomly out of my charm box but I can literally see it and as I mentioned um, sand I just looked over and the chances of it being towards the top of the box is very very rare because I jumble up my charms and sometimes they could be like buried underneath because my box is humongous if you guys can see this like my box is huge and I can literally just see it it's like right here so from my angle it looks like this um well, I can, I can literally just see it's like literally up here. Um, so this is like, it's got some kind of sand in it as well, right? And so that's what I was thinking of is like, you may feel like time is running out. Um, and so that's what I literally just thought of. And then it was just like poking up like there. And I could literally just see it from where I'm sitting. So again, that's something that really um, reminds me of that. You've got an S here as well. You've got a Q. You've got even more letters you've got a smiley face so again you're going to be feeling very very positive and it's a good next seven days um you've got an l you've also got land as well oh we've got another l here okay you've got two swans so again feeling very good within yourself um you know and also it can be that other people are treating you much nicer especially romantically as well you've got here a pine cone as well it's like you finally get the pine cone. Has anyone seen Ice Age where that squirrel is always trying to get that pine cone? And it's like one of those things that it's like, it's just like, oh my gosh, I'll feel satisfied once the squirrel has the pine cone. It's like you finally have the pine cone as a squirrel. It's it's very satisfying. Is it a pine cone? No, 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 it's not. It's just, uh, what is it? What, what was it called? I feel like I'm thinking of the wrong thing. It's corn, you know, this. <laughs> 
oh my gosh, I, I feel like I might have got that wrong a little bit, but yeah, um, once the squirrel has it, it's just very satisfying, and I feel like that's, you know, that's where you're headed towards in the next seven a day, see so your loyalty as well, but also trying to be loyal towards those that are loyal back to you as well, you've got this little asterisk, asterisk, oh wow, I can't even say that either, um, this little star as you see there as well, and you've got a star here too, um, so that's, I think, really interesting, obviously this is used in like a specific grammar term or grammar way, um, and also on the phone as well, but I also feel like that really resembles this star energy, which is about you putting faith in yourself and your path and where things are going to go. You've got the N here as well. You've also got an A and that's the L, the A and the L. Um, and then you've also got here as well this ring, which is about commitment towards yourself and towards your goals and essentially powering and progressing forward, which I think is really, really lovely as well. So got a really lovely mix of charms, which are showing a lot of strength as well and a lot of prosperity and movement forward. Um, you know, you've got here this holographic quartz, got another quartz here, and I believe that this is tiger eye. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I probably am mistaken, but you know, tiger eye is about strength. And I think that that's what really leads you to have this um, overall things coming together is because it all comes together at once and it's because of your strength and your confidence and it's about taking those risks you know that sometimes you may feel like oh my gosh I'm not sure if I can let go of this thing or if I can let go of these people that are not nice to me etc um, but that's what I'm seeing here there's a change, there's a change coming through for sure, um, which is what I pick up on. So yes, uh, group one, this is your reading for the next seven days. If this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course my intention items, which are on Etsy. Um, so there's charms and letters also on my Etsy store. Um, as I mentioned as well, there are the tassels that are there. Oh, look, it's gold as well. This to me again is like a very like wealthy kind of energy, you know, all of this sort of gold. Um, and then you've also got like loads of other items on my Etsy store as well, like bracelets, anklets, necklaces, pom poms, you know, things like that. So, um, yeah, there's you know coins and crystals and pendulums, etc. Um, and then also the free reading giveaway and the private paid week reading information is also down below as well so do check that out but the main thing here is let me know if this resonates with you um don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you all very soon all right so let's move this tassel to the side let's put these in here in here, put these in here, and put these in here. All right, so let's take these away. Group number three, hello, this is your reading for the next seven days, this is a timeless reading, so I hope you're doing well, okay, and you have chosen for your reading this beautiful beaded tassel, um, which is available on my Etsy store, if anyone would like to purchase it, it is handmade, um, so that is what we have here, um, this one is a bit more of a sample piece, um, <laughs> which is why I've just got it here, and it's got a loose there we go, it's a little bit better, there we go, uh, so let's just put that, I'm going to put it right there, um, sort of towards the back, and we're going to see with tarot cards, oracle cards, charms, letters, and see what is happening for the next seven days, so let's begin. So let's start with eight oracle, sorry, tarot cards, sorry, the size of this really reminds me of oracle cards. Usually oracle cards tend to be bigger. Um, these are tarot cards, so eight tarot cards. Let's start with those. Okay, 
So we've got the Two of Swords with the Ten of Wands. Don't click off just yet. I know that people have a habit to do this where they might see some cards and they're like, oh my God, no, no, those are not my cards. <laughs> and they just like exit the video straight away. Um, it's it's not what it looks like all the time. All right. So I, I think that that's really important to keep in mind as well when you see those kinds of cards. Okay. You've got here the Magician with the King of Pentacles. I told you, told you. See, if you if you clicked off the video straight away just by those two cards, then, you know, <laughs> I guess the jokes are on you, right? Because it's like, it's not always what it um, is, is showcasing. Um, and then you've got the King of Pentacles here with the Six of Wands. Wow, so there's real movement going forward. Um, I will get these three cards out in just a little bit. But see, the Ten of Wands is getting through some kind of burden and just being able to move past it. The Two of Swords here can be about some indecision and sort of going back and forth, back and forth between a certain decision, a certain choice, or a certain thought that you've been having. The Magician here is making a decision. The Magician is about communication. It's about ironing out any problems or challenges challenges that have been occurring and the king of pentacles here is about strength it is about courage and it is about stability and security fulfillment and essentially it is telling you that you are going to be in a really good position over the next seven days to feel your best right because the six of wands here is all about celebration it is about happiness it is about moving towards your goals it is about not being held back because this is really about movement forward and uh, there's a real sense of victory that comes through here as well right through some uncertainty that was taking place before so you know the tens in tarot showcase completion from the ten you go back to the zero or the ace should i say in this case so that just goes to show is that you are moving out of the this kind of unstable phase to a much better phase where there is a sense of victory and celebration and success in areas of your life. It's going to be different for everyone, but I definitely feel like you'll know exactly what this is because some of you have been very, very, um, very confused with a certain decision, a certain choice, uh, things that you've been thinking about or doing, and it's just been very like all over the place. You've been thinking, okay, like how am I going to do this? Like what should I do? Like how am I going to, you know, progress through this? Like should I let go of this person? Should I stay? Or is this the right career for me? Or is it that one? You know. So I feel like a lot of you are between two things and you're trying to think like okay like what am I going to do and it's been burdening you for a while like something's definitely been burdening you in terms of a choice or a decision and here you are over the next seven days finally getting to that conclusion and not in a rushed way either it is a very balanced conclusion and you get to it in a way and in a sense where you just know where you want to be you know you, you know where you want to you know how you feel and essentially getting to that place especially with this mercury energy where you can communicate this across to other people and really not feel bad about yourself because your throat chakra is very very highlighted throughout the course of the next seven days even with the king of pentacles there's this real sense of you know um I guess character, but also you just feeling so comfortable within yourself and you're attracting all of this positive energy as well over the course of the next seven days because you're pushing through this, this challenging energy to finally feel much more stable within yourself. So there can be some good news over the course of the next seven days, which can make you feel a lot happier, much better within yourself as well. So something to keep in mind. Sun, yep. Page of Swords, yep. See, the sun here, happiness, right? After this sense of like feeling burdened with this particular um, thing, you're you're definitely, basically a weight is getting lifted off of your shoulders. That's what I'm trying to say, um, especially with the sun. Sun is solar plexus chakra energy as well. It's a solar energy. It's about growth. It's about optimism, positivity, joy, light, warmth fulfillment it's a beautiful energy which is just showing that you are growing things are getting better right you're not holding back you're not moving in a direction that feels uh, unnatural to you you're moving in a very fulfilling direction a direction in which you are having happiness and joy and fulfillment and progression which is leading to even bigger and better things and i think that's so so nice to see on the cards And the two of wands, see? Making a decision. See, the two of wands, again, is about choice, you know? And it's also about, you know, two paths in many ways. So again, this is about you really making that choice and then being able to um, walk down the one that you feel 
best towards and the one that you feel most um I think progressive towards as well, which I think is so significant, so important, and actually really, really lovely in many ways as well. So there's just this sense of being able to progress and this sense of happiness and this sense of fulfillment and this sense of joy, which goes further ahead and just, you know, gives that sense of uh, sense of goodness, which I see. So I really feel like there's a lot of really positive energy coming through. And I think also with these pearls as well, um, and this particular charm that you've chosen, there's like a mixture of sort of everything that is very abundant, right? So when we think of jewellery as well, um, I do definitely think of like silver, gold, pearls, you know, and I feel like this is just all about abundance. So over the next seven days, you're going to be feeling very abundant through any decisions um, that you've had to make through any yeah challenges that you've had to make where you've had to make decisions on those challenges. Does that make sense? So you're really going through it, you're finding your way, and ultimately, right, it definitely goes to show that you're going to have lots of great communication with people around you with the Mercury energy and you're going to be very well understood. So um, I definitely think that over the next seven days, you know, you are going to be, you're going to be pretty optimistic with the Page of Swords, but you're also going to be very understood. Your optimism will be understood. Because you know how sometimes you want to make a choice and a decision and people can be like, no, don't do that. Or no, maybe that's not the best thing for you to do. And it's like they're always giving their opinions or saying like, oh no, you should do this or you should do that. And it's just like, but I want to do this. And it's like, no, but this would be better. You know, it's it's like, actually, you know what, you stand up for yourself over the next seven days and people actually stand with you rather than against you. So I think that's actually very powerful too. So you finally feel like, wow, that 10 of wands, okay, you're in the past, you know, I can't be more burdened than this. Um, so it's just a way of like progressing forward, basically. Okay, Oracle cards. Let's go with one of these. This is the Nature's Whispers Oracle, I believe. Okay, and let's get one of the Life Coach Oracle cards too. Sorry, they, these cards are a little difficult for me to shuffle because my hand does not go all the way around this way and also there's a hundred cards. <laughs> so I have to shuffle this way which can be a little challenging for me with small hands. That's the one thing I do have, I have very small hands so that's just my problem to be honest. <laughs> okay, so um, Oracle card, Karma. You may be involved in a situation that requires justice or fairness. Isn't that exactly what we kind of see on the cards, right? Stuck between like decisions, stuck between making a choice. Um, so basically what this is saying here is that you'll make a decision and basically you'll be rewarded upon that decision. So yeah, some of you might have like court related um, issues, you know, things that need to be sorted out in, in legal ways, legal matters, for example, and um, there's a sense that requires justice or fairness. And fairness can also be, right, just having people stand with you rather than against you and things like that. So I really feel like this particular card brought everything together. So I hope you guys can see how I read as a tarot reader. A lot of the messages are very, very similar where basically justice and fairness will be presented to you because we have got the sun card as well, right? The sun is about things really swaying in your favour, which I think is really beautiful. It's about growth and it's also about joy and happiness and fulfilment. Then you've also got here breakthrough as well. So you see, you see from that 10 of wands, which is that burden, there is a breakthrough where you are finding victory and success. So that six of wands, again, very, very good news as well. So everything is really tying together in terms of the messages. There we go. I love it when that happens, but it tends to happen in pretty much every reading, to be honest. But um, hopefully that can just kind of, kind of show you how I read as well. Wow, amazing. Karma and breakthrough. So what goes around comes around. Um, you reap what you sow in the sense that your goodness is coming back to you. And remember good karma as well, right? So um, karma is not just um, bad. It, it's also the good karma that comes back around too. So when people says, oh, you'll get karma. Well, then, you know, especially if you've not, not really done anything wrong, what they're trying to say is that, you know, they're, they're trying to implement that something bad will happen to you. But actually karma can also be good. It's like, oh, wow, I got karma. But it can be good karma, you know? So that's something to keep in mind. And again, break through there's just this revelation this sense of progression you've got these butterflies as well it's like feeling like a freaking caterpillar and then going into this cocoon and feeling isolated and then boom the breakthrough happens and you're a butterfly congratulations <laughs> it's amazing um so it's a it's a breakthrough in the sense where you feel like wow you know this thing's been bur this thing has been burdening you and then finally it's a sense of like relief 
especially with the King of Pentacles stability. So now I'm going to get out the Food Fortune cards. Now, a lot of you have said that these cards are quite accurate in terms of the foods, which I think is interesting. Now, obviously this will resonate with some of you, it may not resonate with all of you, um, but this could be foods that you're craving or that you eat over the next, over the course of the next seven days. You may also make versions of this, you know, so something to keep in mind. It can be a little different and everyone has their own sort of, um, what's the word? preferences when it comes to what they want to eat and what they don't want to eat, right? So keep that in mind as well. And you got the duo here. This is interesting. This is like a uh, combination sandwich. So for example, this one here is peanut butter and jelly. But uh, say, you know, some of you might have interesting combinations of foods that you also enjoy. Um, so, you know, things that are maybe not so well known. Like for example, um, in the UK, there's a thing called beans on toast. <laughs> a lot of people don't like it, but a lot of people love it. Um, what else? What else is there? There's like um, there's just so many like weird combination foods, right? So it could be that there's a combination food you really enjoy, or it's peanut butter and um, jelly, or you know what I'm what I really feel like is this is like a, a really interesting combination. Then we have. iced one. Okay, so this could be some kind of iced drink, iced tea, iced coffee, um, but some, some kind of iced drink. Okay, and then we've got the link. So you've got some sausages here. Okay, um, so that's what we got there. Some kind of sausage. Okay. Hmm, so let's go now to your charms, okay? I'm really excited about this because I also have some crystal charms which have messages on them as well. Um, so let's begin first and foremost with the letters. This could spell out initials, it could also spell out words of things that are going to happen over the next seven days. Okay, so you've got a H and you've got an R, which is interesting because that to me really reminds me of like human resources, right? People that are helping you out or sourcing things or um, to do with also career as well. You might be in contact with HR, for example, you know, human resources uh, at companies, things like that. So that's really interesting. We did also talk about like maybe legal matters or things like that or getting some kind of help or making a decision. You've got a CV. Oh my God, that's so interesting. So CV in the UK is curriculum by... I, oh my god, I, I've had to make so many CVs in my life, but um, basically a CV is like a resume. It's, it's kind of the same thing. Um, so that's really interesting that that came, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is going, that that came through as well, because, you know, you would submit a CV to HR, which is also really interesting. Um, <laughs> there's like this career kind of thing coming through, and then there's also this sort of justice kind of, like legal matters kind of thing coming through, um, you know, applying for jobs perhaps, like that's something that is, is happening here. You've also got a B, B, M, and L, Z, G. Okay, so those are your letters. We didn't really get any vowels out, but uh, that's what we have. Okay, let me go with these crystal charms. I'm going to grab two of them. Oh, I love this one. Look at it. It's so beautiful. It reminds me of like a hmm, cheetah, I think, cheetah, cheetah print, and it says passion. Wow. So you're really, you're really going towards things that you are very passionate about, and you're trying to really do the most you can um, in, in that sense. So I feel like between the decision that you're making, you're trying to do things that are best suited towards you or that things you're most passionate about. We also have joy here as well. And we didn't, I did mention the word joy when we talked about the sun. So I'm not surprised by that. And again, this reminds me kind of like an, an animal print, <laughs> if you can see that there as well. But uh, joy and passion here are your messages. So uh, joy with the sun, you know, I think that's obviously quite significant and very important in many ways. So now let's go to your charms and see what is coming through. Okay, so you've got this blue dummy, which I think is really interesting because to me, like, yes, you know, maybe that's like a baby energy around, 
But more than that, what I think is so fascinating is that this is usually to do with like communication, right? Um, and sort of, um, I mean, there's many, many reasons as to why a dummy actually exists. But when I think of it, I also think of like, you know, it obviously stops someone from talking, right? But the magician here is um, Mercury energy, it's about throat chakra, it's about communication as well. And obviously we know that the color of the throat chakra, which is all about communication and talking, is blue. And you've got the blue dummy here. So you may feel like you're being silenced in some way, shape or form, like someone's like putting this dummy like forcefully, right? But the thing here that I pick up is that actually you are not as restricted as you may feel. So that's something that comes through here is that you are still, you still have the ability to do what you feel, um, to say what you feel, and you're not as limited as you may feel. You are. Also, my fan is overheating on my device. Like, why is this happening today? Um, I, I don't know, but uh, it is happening. So let me just like try and figure something out here. Okay. Woo, stopped, okay. You've also got the key as well, okay? So the key here is really quite significant because the key really does represent that you're trying to unlock something and you're trying to essentially get to the bottom of something here. You've also got the full stop. So again, someone might be trying to silence you, okay? Or trying to kind of just make you um, do things a certain way or trying to stop you from reaching your goals. So I think that's really interesting. Again, you know, there could be certain people here that are treating you like a child, treating you as though you have no options, no say, um, or that there could be, um, for some of you, it could be to do with custody and things like that. It could be literally to do with children. Um, so that's really interesting as well, um, because for some of you, there could be a child energy here or a baby energy. Then we've also got this here, which says, always remember you are braver than you believe. Stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. So you could be going through a bit of a difficult time, but there's going to be a breakthrough, okay, which shows that you will move forward, especially with a compass. Like, it will guide you to a better, in a better direction. It will guide you towards joy and happiness and the flower, you know, it will grow. Sense of nourishment here. Um, listen to your gut, listen to your intuition, and um, be proud of your strength and your stability. Oh, you've got crown chakra, third eye energy here. So meditating on your third eye, your crown chakra, and your throat chakra will really, really help the next seven days to go as best as they can as well. So that is what I'm seeing right there. So group number two, this is your reading. Okay, it is full of abundance, but it's also full of just knowing that you know, you may be silenced in some way, shape or form, but actually you don't have to be. Um, you can always stand up for yourself and try and do things in a better way for you. So that's something that I pick up here. So if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Um, the charms and the letters and the tassels are available on my Etsy store. If you're interested, everything will be linked down below. Um, and also don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let me know how this reading resonates with you as well in the comment section. I hope that you take care. I hope that you stay safe. And of course, this is your reading. I have a whole playlist of pick a card readings if you're interested in watching those. And of course, there is the next seven days reading, which comes out every single week on my channel. So you can always watch those as well because they are timeless readings. Um, so yeah, take care, everyone. All right, bye. All right, so let's take these letters away like this. And oh, my charms crystals okay put those here Oh, that tassel just looks so nice. All right. Group 
number three. Hello, how are you? So this is going to be a reading for the next seven days for you. This is a timeless reading. Um, so from whenever you choose to watch this reading, that's when it will be for. And uh, yes, yeah, so you've chosen this beautiful golden pile with the golden... <laughs> okay. <laughs> this golden tassel, there we go. And um, it is handmade by me. So um, if anyone would like to purchase uh, this tassel, any of the tassels that I have, I, there's loads of colourful ones as well. Um, my link to the Etsy store that is my Etsy store will be down below so you can check that out but uh, I just love it, it's so pretty. Okay so that is what you've chosen, let's just put it right there. I'm going to do first of all an eight card tarot spread, then we're going to go to oracle cards and then I will also do a charm reading as well which I'm so excited about because I got these new crystal charms that have letters on them as well. So excited. Okay let's begin. So the next seven days for you. Okay, that's definitely got to be around about eight. So we've got the Five of Pentacles, Princess of Wands, The Devil, Death. Don't be scared of this. I, I'm not getting a scary energy out of this at all. In fact, I feel like there's a breakthrough waiting to happen, I feel like there is a sense of, you know, and I feel like these four cards will explain it as well, I just have a feeling, I, I don't know what they are, but I have a feeling here, that you know when there is a butterfly, um, and the transformation of a butterfly, when there's a caterpillar, essentially, I'm trying to talk about the caterpillar, caterpillar go, you know, goes into the cocoon, and the cocoon can be so isolating, it can be lonely, it can be frustrating, you know, that's where I would imagine that, you know, a caterpillar would be sad, would be lonely, would be frustrated, perhaps even depressed, you know? But then when that breakthrough happens, that that caterpillar turns into the butterfly and leaves that cocoon, there is something so transformational because there is so much growth that has happened to the point where that caterpillar is no longer a caterpillar, it's a butterfly, right? So there's this real sense of, especially with that five of pentacles, some of you may be feeling lonely, you may be feeling frustrated, you may be feeling challenged, like why are things not happening the way that I want them to happen? Why are things not progressing the way that I need them to progress? Why is it just not happening? And I feel like so many of you, group number three, are in that phase of being in the cocoon. Like right now, you're in this cocoon energy. And actually, you know what, when we kind of look out into the world as well, because as I'm filming this, there's still the pandemic going on, um, and there's quite a lot of countries that are also in lockdown right now, it kind of feels like that cocoon energy, right? Where there's just not that sense of like, perhaps sometimes freedom, there's not that sense of like being able to do everything that you want to do. And, um, you know, it can be frustrating, it can feel very isolating, it can feel lonely, it can just feel like, okay, I'm in this cocoon. The thing that I really feel here with the Princess of Wands is that even though you may be in this little cocoon and you may feel isolated and frustrated, just in general as well, is that there's still so much more that you can do with your energy. And I definitely feel like doing things that you enjoy, like your goals and your hobbies, is what I see over the next seven days. And I really feel that you will start to feel much more excited about these particular things. And that will also start to lift your energy energy where you will enjoy being in this kind of energy and making the most of it okay because dreams don't work unless we do and when we support ourselves the universe also is more triggered to support us as well so that's the princess of wands energy really coming through in such a strong way other thing here is you've got the devil right so um what i would say is that the devil is sort of like this toxic energy um so always about wanting to be in control when you surrender you let go and you just say to yourself you know what nothing everything that's meant for me will never pass me by if you say that you will just know that you know what whatever happens is happening for a higher purpose it's happening for growth it's happening for uh, lessons it's happening because of evolution and how life is but also because there's there's bigger things waiting out there for you and I think that that's really important here some of you may feel like I always need to know what's going to happen I always need to control what's going to happen um, the thing is that can sometimes become toxic it can lead to a lot of expectations and expectations can cause suffering um, we know that from from Buddhism and Buddhist teachings that that is often what happens right so it's also about detaching meditation can help you over the next seven days as well Basically, the next seven days, 
throughout the course of it, there's gonna be a breakthrough. Okay, for some of you, it may take like six days and then you finally have that sense of a breakthrough. For some of you, you know, two days in, you might have a breakthrough. So it really does depend. But in the next seven days, I feel like there will be some kind of breakthrough and transformation because you've got death here. Death is about death and rebirth, okay? Death is about transformation. It's like the butterfly energy. You're gonna stay in this energy forever. It will break, you know, that, that sort of spell will break, as I wanna say, you know, that, that it will it will happen, okay, the transformation will happen, like food doesn't stay fresh forever, right, at some point it's going to go bad, but that's when you're then going to, you know, get some more food in, let's say, um, or have consumed it by then, obviously not consuming bad food, but you, you know what I mean, like there's a natural evolution to things, um, for sure, um, so let's have a look and see, so you've got here the tower, yep, so the tower here again is about, you know, unhealthy patterns also breaking, this is also about just knowing that sometimes the tower needs to be demolished, certain things happen in our lives for a very specific purpose and it happens because there is a higher power to it and also that again there are lessons that need to be learned but sometimes it's better to for these things to be demolished so that something bigger and better can be built in its place right something much better can come into its place and it's hard to recognize at the time but then actually when time goes by it kind of makes sense, you know, and it makes sense. And again, there's that natural evolution to things as well. Um, so that's the tower. It's Mars energy. All right. See, Knight of Pentacles, your abundance is coming towards you. It's slow, but it's steady. And it comes um, also with time. So again, it's a little bit like the butterfly um, and the whole caterpillar, caterpillar story. But I really do feel like the next seven days, somewhere in it, you will feel this breakthrough where you will start to feel so much more positive in everything that you're doing, mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, socially, you'll feel so much better. <laughs> so we've also got here art as well, which we see. Um, so, you know, art is, again, about creativity, expression. It's also about um, channeling your energy into other things. So your hobbies, your dreams, things you enjoy, things that you uh, feel so much better about and things like that. Channeling all of your energy, again, with that princess of wands, that creative energy can be so much better for you because then you're not just like you know, in this energy of like wanting to control everything and knowing everything and that can, you know, frustrate you a lot. And then you've got the Prince of Wands as well. So you've got the Princess of Wands and the Prince of Wands. So there can be some really good news towards the end of the next uh, seven days. Um, you can also, you may be connecting here romantically with somebody, but also there can be the sense of people wanting to help you, people wanting to be there for you when you help yourself. So first of all, help yourself and then others will help you. That's what I'm seeing here, um, especially if you've been feeling really lonely or frustrated in a certain connection or uh, between certain people help yourself first put put and channel more energy into yourself and you'll start to see that other people will start to gather around you very very naturally they always say be the right person and life will shape itself around you so i think that's really quite significant again with this gold charm as well there is a sense of abundance to this even if you feel like it's not quite there and you don't quite feel it it is there and it is forming it's it's for me forming in the sense that there is a formation starting okay so now let's go to your oracle cards Okay, we've got here, we've got a lot of cards, but I'm only going to take this top one. It's called vulnerability, okay? Be okay with being vulnerable. Be okay with being you. I think that's really important as well. Vulnerability is actually a huge strength, okay? And I think that it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to take time for yourself. Um, it's okay, you know, it's totally, totally okay. Over the next seven days, you may feel vulnerable. That's okay. Um, it's also about making sure that you channel energy towards yourself as well, which I think is quite significant. I'm going to take this card. You've got here Universal Bank. Everything you need to thrive is already th uh, here. Everything you need to thrive is already here. It is, you know, and I think that, that is about sort of using the tools that you have to channel this energy um, in which you can feel so much better within yourself and everything else that is happening. Um, I think that is just really significant, very important um, and very, very vital in, in so many ways that these things are progressing and things are coming together. Um, even if you don't feel it, things are coming together. So now I'm going to go with the food fortunes. Now this could be foods that you are craving throughout the next seven days or that you eat throughout the next seven days or make variations of in the next seven days. A lot of you have said how these um, cards are very accurate, so that's why I continue to incorporate them. So you've got the beginning, so we've got here um, eggs. Now I'm fully aware that not everybody does eat eggs, but we have got eggs here. Now obviously if you don't like eggs, then you know, <laughs> it's, it's not, you know, it's not the end of the world. 
you've got the iced ones, this could be iced tea, iced coffee, um, some kind of iced beverage. Basically the beginning can also mean like breakfast for example because maybe some of you haven't been doing breakfast and you're thinking about doing breakfast, you know, so this can mean lots of different things. Or just eating, you know, regular breakfast. Uh, got quite a few here. Okay, let's take them all. So we've got the orange one, which is like a curry. Uh, could be an Indian curry. We've got here the fallen, which is an apple. You've got here the pressed one, which is like a panini or a grilled sandwich of some sort. And then you've got here the Middle Eastern. So you've got um, like a dip with lots of uh, items like peppers, carrots, cucumbers, pita. This is like hummus, basically. So that's what we see but dips, dips in general. Okay, so let's go to your charms now and the letters. I'm so excited about the crystal charms, <laughs> so excited. Um, so, we are going to go with charms first. Oh, sorry, letters first. So this could be um, initials. It could also spell out words for the next seven days. So we have got here, X, J, N, N, Q, C, P, S. Okay, well, that's what we've got there. Um, and then let's go in with these crystal messages. I'm gonna grab two. Too. Okay, hope and health. Yeah, you're really taking care of yourself. I think mentally as well, like things can be quite a bit. So this is really you taking care of yourself. Um, I see quite, I see healthy options here, you know, some healthy options. Um, so I feel like you might be taking that into consideration in regards to like physical health, things that you eat. Um, also, remember health is not just about like eating and exercising, it's also about sleeping well. It's also about the thoughts that you have, it's also about positivity and uh, the people that you have around you. So health is about lots of different things um, overall, rather than it just being about one thing. Because I know so many people that eat really healthily, but they don't really sleep very well or, you know, do other things, um, you know, in that sense, like they really do struggle in that aspect. Um, and I know some people that exercise like crazy, but they don't eat very well or, and they always feel very tired and sluggish. And so that's really interesting is that, you know, health is all the way around. I feel like that's going to be a main focus of yours, not just, you know, with what you eat and, you know, little bits of exercise or lots of exercise. It's mainly about overall as well, mentally, emotionally, and also spiritually as well, which is why I feel like meditation can be really powerful during this time. And hope here is about things again coming together and things becoming much, much stronger as well, okay? So there's a ro there's, there is hope, okay? There is light at the end of the tunnel here. Okay, so for your charms, you've got a U. Cup. Ooh, it's interesting. I spelt out cup which I think is interesting, like cup is in, you know, we have cups in, in tarot as well, right? So cups are about abundance too, so that's really interesting. You've got here perhaps love, okay? So for those of you really struggling with someone, um, I, again, I feel like when you put yourself first, it triggers all the energies around you to work well with you. So keep that in mind as well. We've got here a trumpet as well. So some of you might be really interested in listening to um, like music and um, perhaps even like instrumental music, things like that. We have here an airplane. So yeah, you might be feeling like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm not really able to travel that much right now or that you really want to travel or you're making a bucket list or thinking about travel, but we do have an airplane here. Um, but like I mentioned, a lot of you feel very isolated right now. So again, that might be why you're triggered to think about these aspects here. Then you've also got a full stop. Like again, some of you may feel like, okay, nothing is literally happening, things like that. You've got here also this like four leaf clover, which is half full. So you may feel like your abundance and your luck is just not there, you know, but I would say that it's, it's, it's not half empty, it's half full, right? So um, I really do feel like it's getting there. You know, it's like that loading sign. It just, it loads, you know, eventually with time. You've got the saw here as well. Um, some of you might be thinking of like cutting a person out or you might be thinking like, you know, am I going to be cut out or you know, what's happening here? You may feel very isolated and sort of cut out from other people. So we have got the saw here. So I think it's interesting. Um, what's for you will not pass you. Oh my God, isn't that what I meant? It, didn't I just say that? I swear I said that in this uh, reading. What's meant for you, what's for you, will not pass you. That's, that's, 
that's it, right? So always know that what's for you is never just randomly gonna like disappear. And then you've got the star crystal in this green colour. So and this is green adventuring, by the way. <laughs> that's the so uh, meditating on your heart chakra can really help. Going out for walks in nature can really help as well. For you to feel so much closer towards nature, but also towards yourself and self love as well. And then you've also got an anchor. So some of you may feel very weighed down, but there are ways to lift yourself back up, is what I'm seeing. So this is your reading group number three. Now, if this resonates, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Charms and letters are available to purchase on my Etsy store as well as the tassels as well. So do check out the description box below. You'll have all the information there, including information on private paid readings and the free reading giveaway that I do every single uh, month. So everything is always in the description box below. Some information will also be pinned in the comment section. So definitely do check that out as well. I hope that you all take care. I hope that you all stay safe. And uh, this is your messages, uh, or these are your messages. So, you know, there is light at the end of the tunnel. I really feel it. And you've totally, totally got this uh, group three. All right, so yeah, I really hope that this helped you a lot. And uh, definitely do take care of everyone. All right. <laughs> Bye.